Hello there, my Aquarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Aquarius. It's almost like you're having something to ponder. It's a little uh, food for thought type uh, situation going on with you. It's conflict resolution, whatever it is. Is it your conflict, though? Oh, there's the judgment. There's the seven of cups. Ooh. Uh, this is probably going to be something rather bittersweet. Crowd on that, you got the queen of pentacles. There's the hangman energy. There's the emperor energy. Ooh, there's the empress energy. Lord have mercy. Well, some of you are dealing with a relationship or partnership. Just take your time with something. I think some of you are like on you're you're doing like two different things here. There's always that sort of third party energy that's right in between all this. Um, I don't I don't feel like it's uh, that dramatic of a third party vibe. It's uh, damn. Wherever the hell that Seven of Cups energy is. There's the Ten of Swords. There's the Seven of Pentacles. There's the Aquarius. There you are. And there's the Fool vibe. Lord have mercy. This does feel androgynous. Uh, if someone's trying to take... Someone's trying to take advantage of someone around you, which inadvertently will make them take advantage of you. Uh, you keep showing up in this. So, I don't know what, uh, what the vibe is on this. I don't feel like you're feeding into it, which is why it isn't working. Someone's thinking that you'll kind of, uh, decide to give to this situation. Who has the shady choice in partners? I mean, someone here is just all over the place when it comes to their relationships or partnerships. This is a person that every date they go on, they create some sort of attachment to make that uh, situation work. So this is like the secondary energy. If this is with the relationship or partnership, as long as you don't feed that energy, everything is going to be fine. If this is a work uh, type uh, vibe with you, be mindful of uh, who you're working with and the energies that they have around them. I feel like you've established some interesting boundaries, which is why something really doesn't work. I think you're definitely the one that makes those opportunities happen as well. This is boss vibes. You got emperor and empress energy here. Uh, sweet Jesus. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Someone just keeps expecting you to make a decision that gets you stuck. So, I mean, what the fuck, Aquarius? This is someone that's very questionable choice in partners. So... Uh, they're always single or they go way too fast into relationships or partnerships. So they have a lot of partners. Uh, nothing really lasts that long. With Seven of Cups vibe, they date a person seven weeks, seven months, and then uh, they kind of move on to the next. Definitely social climber energy with this or someone that just tries to use a situation. If this is a work opportunity, someone could be uh, taking their friendship or a partnership to somebody else to create a little bit. Someone needs you to kind of get stuck or stay indecisive in something, so that way something else will work. This is definitely a magician's type vibe, so be mindful of the sort of smoke and mirrors when you're dealing with this person. They will always create some sort of distraction. Someone's getting played in this, and then there's you, Aquarius. So if someone's getting played by somebody, don't let them sort of come in and uh, uh, try to play you. Page of Cups. Yeah, 
guess someone's trying to work off an opportunity that deals with you, but they're going about it in a secondary type vibe. High Priestess, the Will of Fortune, there with the Three of Swords. Yeah, someone is definitely trying to manipulate something, but it doesn't work if you don't give a fuck. It doesn't work if you don't give a fuck. I feel like your instincts, your intuition is on point, and someone don't like the fact. So you've made some interesting choices. So you don't stay stuck in this type of relationship or partnership. If someone didn't think you would walk away, if someone didn't think you would turn their, your back on them when it comes to some sort of fuckery type vibe, it, this now's the time to encompass that energy. Now is the time to stay far more focused on you. So someone around you is having a little bit of drama. Someone around you has uh, made promises. Uh, this is a person that goes through partners. They go through partners. But they're, they're more apt to stay stuck in a relationship or partnership that's based on manipulation. So this is someone that has to buy a lot of gifts or trinkets or opportunities to keep people around them. So they make a lot of promises. Some of you are a lot of promises of grandeur. Uh, so someone who dates out of their league continually, but they always get uh, left behind. Damn Aquarius, you know you're pulling good cards there with that Will of Fortune, but someone's manipulation doesn't work. None of that kind of feels sorry for me type vibe. So Aquarius, someone could be wanting to come back around in your energy, wanting you to feel sorry for them. But they created this sort of a uh, vibe on their own. Definitely feels more business. If this is romantic, I mean, whatever the hell this is, uh, turn your back on that energy and don't let it kind of affect you. You're like the empress in this vibe. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Because this could definitely be a karmic relationship or partnership as well. So if someone's situation really isn't working... Someone needs you to kind of keep that energy going. I don't know. You're dealing with someone who's very fucking messy when it comes to any kind of relationship or partnership that they have. This is a person that has to buy a lot of gifts, a lot of trinkets, and uh, they get themselves in situations where they date people or they're with people and they can't afford that energy. So who's dating uh, out of their league? Mm. Some of y'all be mindful of that online energy too so you don't get taken advantage of there. The whole point is you need to allow yourself to kind of get stuck or stagnant. Definitely be mindful of any contracts that you get into uh, right now, Aquarius. This is like someone's trying to go in through the outdoor. So who dates above their pay scale? Who dates people? Who gets into relationships or partnerships with people where the balance is different? If you're in a business situation, make sure your business partner ain't going to try to screw you over with one of their relationships or partnerships. So be mindful of the cross-watching. Because someone's watching you, but someone's watching them watching you. But as long as you don't allow that energy to kind of affect you, it makes all the difference. Someone here is definitely looking for a payout with that Seven of Pentacles. Mm. So someone made a shite choice in a partner or a situation. I don't, I don't know how much of this is romantic or how much of this is just friendships, uh, working relationships or partnerships.
But if someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. So there's definitely that that third party energy. There's definitely uh, way too many sort of uh, people's energy on this. Don't allow that to keep you stuck or stagnant. You're showing up really good. That's what makes the difference. This is someone that you've dealt with before that they always get in these sort of tricky positions. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone who has a fetish. But damn. Anything else for Aquarius on this? If this isn't a romantic relationship or partnership, this could just be astrologically with you, something that you need to be mindful of. So someone could be trying to make you feel bad or someone's feeling bad now because they did try to take advantage of you, but you seen through that. So now you really couldn't give two fucks. Someone is stuck with somebody that they really can't afford. So do be mindful of that. This is the person that dates out of their league. A lot of gift giving, a lot of a lot of trinkets, a lot of uh there's a lot to make that relationship or partnership work. However that affects you or kind of focuses in on you. Yeah, if someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. So, I feel like you're the one that makes these sort of interesting choices, which is created... Uh, there could definitely be some strife when it comes to someone's relationship or partnership. Now that the, uh, there's an unresolved energy here, but this isn't your unresolved energy. Yeah, there with the Three of Cups. Aquarius, trust your instincts with something. So don't allow to, yourself to get into a situation that's definitely going to keep you stuck or stagnant. So definitely be mindful of any contracts that you're signing. Be mindful of uh, uh, who really gets your time, energy, and attention. And what is that even about? You're the one that makes it work. That's what's important. No one compares to you as well. So now's not the time for you to be like basic. Because damn, something ain't working. Work group dynamic on this. Friendship group. I don't know. Whatever the hell this sort of vibe is. Something don't work without you. So. Don't allow that energy in. This could be as simple as if you're dating or you're getting ready to take on a new person. Um, work, love, life vibes here. Kind of pay attention to how their relationships or partnerships tend to work out. Uh, definitely pay attention to the one around you who continually dates people that they're definitely out of their league. In the sense that they're always having to buy things or... Someone needs a certain lifestyle in order to be in that relationship or partnership. And, yeah. When the gifts aren't there or the uh, the great dates, the great opportunities aren't there, this person always gets left behind. So there's a lot of karmic energy on their part. Friends, family, this could be children, grandchildren, some of you, your business partners. So make sure you're mindful of that. Well, these both wanted to come out. Yeah, four of pentacles there with the five of wands. Always keep your best interest in mind. And you're going to be just fine. This could definitely be X energy. Yeah, look at that. This feels more work life.
Whatever your relationships or partnerships are when it comes to this person, make sure you maintain those healthy boundaries. Because some of you could be dealing with somebody who isn't really single, but they need an opportunity to make their sort of vibe work. Who dates people they can't afford? This is a person that has a lot of people work for them or always in their energy, but they're basically getting taken advantage of. So, damn Aquarius. What's your favorite astrologer? There could be something that's kind of... Uh, uh, yeah, I feel like you've been in this energy for a while. So this almost feels like a test that you need to make sure that you're able to make smart decisions and not allow yourself to get overwhelmed with something. Some of you paying more attention to who you work with, who you allow in your energy. This is someone that continually gets stuck in karmic relationships or partnerships. Or they get stuck having to, uh, this is like someone who spends a lot to date, who spends a lot to impress. But once they don't have that, then all their relationships fall apart. Mm -hmm. Damn Aquarius. Don't pick up on that secondary energy. Don't pick up on that secondary energy. Because there's the four of wands. Who's living rent-free in your head? Who wants to create this opportunity? You're the one that makes it work, but someone needs to kind of piggyback off of your opportunity. I don't feel it's romance because I don't feel like there's a lot of love here. Uh, the only affection is there is when someone is able to uh, create that illusion. When someone's able to have the good dates, buy the little trinkets, buy the gifts, bring in the opportunities. So this person has had more than one failed uh, partnership. However, that kind of works out. I don't know which one's the social climber here. Uh, so this is like taking an opportunity to get another opportunity. This would be someone that feels the need to name drop. This is someone that there's something about the lifestyle that they want that they have to continually keep kind of give into it to make it work. As far as this dynamic, I, I don't know if this is just an X energy with you or uh, you're just, uh, you change something. And that's what makes the difference. I don't even think you realize this. So, there's the Queen of Swords. Who's your voice of reason here? That's how you avoid that Five of Wands. Nine of Wands there to the Four of Wands here. That's how you avoid that Five of Wands energy. Who the fuck is this Queen of Swords? It's air sign energy, so that could be you. You could be dealing with another air sign. There's the chariot energy. Yeah, the realities of something here. And there's that king of swords, or ace of swords.
So someone continually chooses the wrong opportunities and they get taken advantage of. So this is someone that would fall for any get-rich-quick scheme. This is someone that falls for any... Uh, they have a lot of uh, partners, but nothing really lasts. No real true emotional connections anyway. There is that like divide energy here with you Aquarius because I don't feel like you're in this energy but it's like around you so it's it's like a, a secondary vibe with you so pay that no mind don't pay any attention to that you're gonna be just fine if you're looking to hire somebody or you're looking to this could be a job opportunity uh, work love life vibes with you uh, trust the timing on something. Be mindful of the one that needs to show off. Be mindful of the one that needs to continually try to impress everybody. Especially those that need to impress the people that they date. This is someone that deals with people that's way out of their league. So uh, they have to compensate a lot to make those relationships or partnerships work. There you are just doing your own fucking thing here, Aquarius. So maintain this and you're going to be just fine. If you're working on a new project or there's something new that you're doing, you could decide to not let this person in on this or know what it is that you are working on. So in like a work situation, you could decide to do something on your own separate from this person. So that way you don't get that sort of mixed up energy here. This is someone that surrounds themselves with friends, families, and uh, uh, they're, they're romantic partners. So this person has like everyone kind of grouped together around them because it kind of makes it work. And then here you are doing your own thing. <coughs> and this is a business opportunity. This is a business partner that would try to take over. So that way they could give their, their partner, whatever the hell that partner relationship is, kind of your opportunity. So someone definitely likes the vibe that you're in, but they're not anywhere near uh, being in that <laughs> being in that vibe. Damn Aquarius. Nothing works without you. Nothing works without you. Too much secondhand energy. So do be mindful of that. So you could have some sort of lagging. Check your favorite uh, astrologer out. Watch your favorite astrologer because this could kind of be astrological with you too. You could almost feel like you should be going somewhere. You should be doing something. But I feel like it's that energy you need to pull away from. So do be mindful cross-watching Aquarius. Do be mindful of tapping into that sort of secondary energy. Because some of you could just be picking up on that. Someone here is in Nine of Wands. And you're over here like oblivious to this. So you're not able to be taken advantage of anymore. That's what makes the difference. Aquarius, some of you could decide to do your own thing. So that way this is like yours. This is yours.
What the hell even is that, though? I, I don't know if this is every relationship or partnership with you, or this is just a, an opportunity. This could be someone that you're bringing in, you're wanting to bring in. This could be someone that you're already dealing with or you work with. But they are way too messy. They are way too messy. Uh, Knight of Wands there with the Temperance Angel. Again with the World Vibes here. Yeah, watch your favorite astrologer on this. Because uh, this feels, uh, it could feel secondary or feel kind of weird with you. But it ain't got shit to do with you. Who around you gets easily taken advantage of and stay out of that energy? I know, easier said than done, Aquarius. If this makes sense with you, you understand the relationship or partnership. So don't let someone come in and sort of take over an opportunity that you've been working on so they can get some sort of clout going on within them. This is a person that definitely has to impress a lot of people. This is a person that keeps uh, a lot of people around them that uh, kind of feed their ego. It's a social climber vibe, but I don't feel like they really get too far with anything. This person gets taken advantage of a lot. No matter what kind of uh, relationships or partnerships they have, they definitely get taken advantage a lot. Now, however they factor in with you, who the fuck knows? There's this clear, like, divide. So, Aquarius, a lot of you have moved through that energy. So, don't go back. Now's not the time to sort of deal with this. Because it really doesn't have anything to do with you. But it could with uh, the next relationship or partnership or opportunity. So if you're deciding to do something on your own, stay in that. Because uh, someone needs like your opportunity to bring them more clout. Someone needs whatever you got going on to make them look impressive. Because something ain't working over here with something. So once, uh, once the parties are over, once uh, uh, everything is sort of done, this person always loses out with those relationships or partnerships. You could be getting closure on something, and that's what brings about this interesting switch up. So don't react, don't respond. Just uh, keep focusing on you here. This feels like work, life, more than it does romance. So, uh, you know what I mean, Aquarius? Take what's yours and leave what's not. Over top of all that, yeah, the Ace of Cups. And the winner is Aquarius, because Aquarius is doing their own thing. So, maybe you have, like, some shady situations at work. Maybe some of you are dealing with those that, uh, this is a person that surrounds themselves with people that kind of make them feel good. So this would be someone that wants you to take on a lot of shit hires. This is a person that wants like everyone around them. So they get this energy of clout, but something don't work because you're the one that kind of does everything. Without you, the opportunity isn't there. So, damn, don't get stuck in this energy. Sorry, Aquarius, it keeps coming back to that. So this is something you need to be mindful of or just not go back into that energy again. Someone has dreams of grandeur, they just can't create it. So 
So much peace, contentment, and resolution energy over here on you Aquarius. And that's what makes all the difference. You could have Capricorn in your chart. You could have Gemini in your chart. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. Uh, it's kind of that energy of single, not single, and kind of doing your own thing. So it's like you definitely could have choices. So if you're taking on a new uh, project, you're taking on a new partner, or you've got to work with somebody, if you have a choice in that, some of you are probably going to do your own thing. Someone has way too much codependency. They need way too much validation. They need way too much sort of reassurance. It's a person that's very insecure. Uh, they definitely get taken advantage of a lot. And then you got the Gemini energy. This is someone that goes uh, able to work with everybody, able to, there's uncomplicated relationships or partnerships. So if you establish a healthy boundary, it's maintained. And then you got the Sagittarius energy there, that temperance, which is like, no, I'm good. So it's kind of like that. So you could have the codependent one, and then you have uh, the one that kind of is just more free-flowing. And then you have you, which is kind of like temperance angel. So your astrology could be kind of helping uh, you make some smart choices here. Be true to yourself and you're going to be just fine. So avoid the one that needs all the validation. If you're having the conversation with the one that you, uh, there's a, a very good positive free flowing vibe with that. You could be turning down that offer or uh, deciding to do your own thing. And that's what makes the difference. So you could have two to choose from. Who do you work with? Is 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 it the right relationship? Is it the right partnership? Some y'all be mindful of someone who has a lot of karmic X energy, someone that brings a lot of unnecessary baggage to every situation that they do. So you're bringing the you're bringing the balance in in a very unique way. So don't overthink something. It's like you've got codependency. You've got a great, like, uh, free-flowing uh, opportunity. And there you are, temperance in the middle. Like, wh what's going to be the best one? What's going to be the best one? You're going to be a transit. Your moon notes could be switching up here, Aquarius. Oh, Choose you and you're going to be just fine. The less complicated something is, the better it's going to be for you. Uncomplicated. So whatever your energy is, it is uncomplicated. It does feel like it's a choice. So, damn. Damn. Definitely watch your astrology. Capricorn, Gemini, and Sagittarius. Hmm. Take what's yours, leave what's not Aquarius. Like, share, subscribe. Choose people who are less complicated and not so messy. And those that don't really have to prove themselves. So it's it's uh, it's it's kind of simple. Really? You definitely could have a choice between two. Hmm? Peace, love, and light. Like, share, subscribe. Take what's yours and leave what's not. Love your energy, Aquarius. Keep it simple and uncomplicated. You're going to be just fine.